Behind the Shades. So tell us some of the things that, one, the song that got you up and going, and two, how did it feel to discover the Jenny that we see in front of us today? Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, those are excellent questions. Um, what songs? Honestly, um, I, I I don't know the name of the songs, but the dance that got me really going is um, belly dancing. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I it what really matters is how it makes you feel, right? Um. When I'm in the process of um, belly dancing, it really, um, like the way it moves me, in addition to that, like, you know, get me to work out, right? It's my core, my legs. Um, it also makes me feel really sexy, <laughs> right? It, it, it really <laughs> boosts my confidence, right? And then the music, um, it could be, I don't know, if, if you go to YouTube, then you uh, look for Arabian belly dancing. A lot of it's like, you know, drum based and all the drum beats, like it really woke me up. At least, you know, that's, that's the effect on me. And I just couldn't help myself, but like, you know, moving my hips to it. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I would just like, you know, keep moving with it and um, just feeling alive. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing out, right? Like after you've lived a life of um, being on a hamster wheel for so long, like you want something different. You want something that brings you alive. You want something that brings, I don't know, like this, this quality that's been suppressed in you. And for me, because I came from a culture where sexual shaming, the body shaming is like the norm. <laughs> Um, and being with myself when everybody is sleeping and I could kind of like, you know, wake that up, um, that means a lot to me. Um, you know, maybe it's, it's also like, you know, a little bit of like rebellious and, you know, um, that, that was what makes it exciting. <laughs> right? Um, and so that, that kind of like what really moved me. Um, yeah. And so what was the other question again? Um, what living okay. in? Yeah. How did it feel that, because you mentioned it, right? Like how it made you feel sexy, made you feel alive. So when you look at that for my second question, when you compare what you're feeling now, mm -hmm. what you're feeling when you're going through those dances, when you feel like you've awakened this persona in a way, right? Like this is you being reborn. Like, how does that feel when you look back and you say, yes, I may have had things in my life that a lot of other people want, but it wasn't necessarily what I want, what I wanted then, because what I'm doing now is what I've always wanted. Yes, because, okay, when I'm doing that, what I'm awakened is my authentic self. Maybe that's like the biggest thing, really, right? Because like when I was doing all of these things, right, in that beautiful house on that, like, you know, beautiful land, right? But was, was that really what I wanted? No, that's what I, that's what people, what other people wanted out of me, what my parents wanted for me, what the society wanted for me, but was it really what I wanted, right? Um, taking care of a family, being a homemaker, like, you know, have a job and like, you know, be a mother and like, you know, doing all these things. Oh well, yeah, it was noble according to them, but was it really what re resonated with me? No. What resonated with me was this connection with myself, right? You know, like when I'm dancing and I, this, this, this um, part of me that was considered taboo, that was considered forbidden, just like came out and that made me feel alive, right? And that opened up so many other things um, that activated, um, the happiest, most joyful part of me that opens up so many other paths and invited the right people into my life, right? And like right now, I'm sitting right in front of you talking about it, inviting people to 
also connect with themselves through the most joyful activity that they could do that gives them that exhilaration so that they could just connect with the most authentic self within them. So yeah, that's the whole point of it, really. Like, you know, the, with the morning routine and you, know, you could actually say it's like, oh yeah, you know, like all these coaches, right? Would say morning routines will make you successful. Like, you know, these are the, the habits of the millionaires and, um, you know, all these things. But then like, when you can't even wake up and um, like, oh, you can't stop pressing the snooze button on your phone, right? Because life is so hard because you've just been waking up to this hamster wheel that you have to <laughs> keep moving on. No, you can't get to all these beautiful things that these coaches are talking about, right? We have James Clear, we have um, Hal Elrod or uh, Robin Sharma, right? They're talking about the 5 a.m. club and like in you know, all these productive things that you could do. But if you can't even like wake up because your life is so heavy because you have this energy that's just like weighing you down and you can't get to all these things, like how, how would you even do all those things, right? And so my bridge, my work is to bridge um, when you wake up and then you're excited because you've created, you've had the structure of something that is fun that you do for yourself that, you know, that you create to nourish yourself and you're excited to wake up for, then you can get there, right? But if, if you're still kind of like waking up only to do I don't know, your corporate job. Uh, or I don't know, just go to the gym, right? For two hours and like, yeah, grind it. That just won't work for me. That's unsustainable because um, the point of my work is really to, um, to connect with what, with what brings you joy the most because that's the key of connecting with yourself, of finding your authentic self right? Um, then through that, you have all the path to all of these beautiful things in your life. And you can then build your life and relate with others from the place of joy and love. Because by doing all these things, you're giving love to yourself, you're giving joy to yourself.